Hello, I'm Phil Ernest in my 52nd country, Andorra. Andorra is 187 kilometers from Barcelona. It is a small landlocked country bordering France and Spain. To illustrate Andorra's size, consider this. America's smallest state, Rhode Island, is three times bigger than Andorra. This is the Value River, runs right down the middle of Andorra. And while Andorra is small, they do have room for a Burger King. The Alphabet Man. Look at that guy, all full of alphabets. Even in the back, he's tatted up with alphabets. Neat sculpture of a, a man. We got a car here. A sculpture of a mobile. That looks like a pretty cool bridge right there. So I got to figure out how to get up there so I can see what that vantage point looks like. As you look at the roundabout and cars going around it, this is what rush hour looks like in Andorra. Okay, so right on up from that traffic circle, they're saying this is the old historic part of Andorra. So let me go take a walk up here and see what's happening in the old historic part of Andorra. This is interesting, a building with a mural on the side of it. Almost looks like it is a, a mirror. And there's the old church. Let's go check out what this old bell tower is all about. If you're enjoying this video and finding it informative, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to receive more of this type of content, please subscribe to the channel. Okay, so this is now supposed to be the old historic part of Andorra. Let me take a walk over here to this building. Nice old church with the three bells on each side. It's 12.30 here with the clock. And there's the bells ringing. So the church is not open, so unable to get in there, but take a look at this little area around it. Cobblestone walkway. Narrow. Nice. Really neat architecture of the old style. So I'm starting to pick up on a theme here. Andorra has a lot of random artworks throughout their country, just like another small country, Liechtenstein. There's the traditional Andorra A to the country. And we have a neat, interesting sculpture here. Look at this. Oh, kind of hanging on a big swing. Let's go walk on this bridge. This was the big bridge that I saw from down below walking in. Let's see how it looks from high atop. Well, this is neat. The view from up here is really nice. In fact, that's where we were at earlier. Here's your glass bottom. Look at this. Look at this glass bottom. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> so this is just where I was at earlier, walking through there. So now we got a good idea of where we're at. Check out this unobstructed view of Andorra and their lights. Look at it's a man sitting atop of a pole. So at night when these things light up the city, it looks as though the statues are levitating with nothing supporting them. That's really creative. This is the way to Casa de la Ball, the historical and ceremonial Andorian parliament. Up until 2011, this was the parliament of Andorra. The new headquarters of the general council is next to Casa de la Ball. I don't know what this statue represents, but I can tell you this. Around this corner, you'll see a monument erected in 1978 commemorating the 700th anniversary of the Portuguese, a very important moment in Andorian history. And you could just barely see some snow on the peak mountains up there. Okay, so let me now take a walk over this way. It's the Andorra flag blowing in the wind and a view from above. 
beautiful green mountains flag blowing off in the distance small city small country and it still has its graffiti problems that big cities and big countries have so this is something i observed that's interesting see these um shingles they're little slabs of rock that has just been shaved off and used as shingles along here all these even the the old style and the newer type of buildings have the same type of rock slab that no doubt they've got from their mountains and use it as shingles that's pretty resourceful another neat thing i notice about andorra walking around is they managed to complement the old with the new really nicely they didn't just see here's the newer buildings but they didn't just destroy the old part to make room for all new they respected the past made this an old historic district and it really blends in well together okay cool look at this skinny building here looks really neat at the way it pops in this little um traffic circle this is pretty neat a mural painted up here the old andorra this is helpful to have these signs posted with points of interest throughout the city road leading down this way we finally come to the center of the town here's the place where tourists come to photograph get their selfies instagram moments right over here near this clock structure and then there's the big sign welcoming you to andorra look at this pretty neat here it is the big clock structure and let's go look at the um the sign over the river look at this the selfie moment andorra so andorra really nice small country but it has a lot of little history a whole lot of history in it up there those mountains look very similar to the himalayan mountains i hiked a few years ago the little villages the way they're set up and right on along the river there's only one river here but it flows throughout the city and so this is andorra really nice country very small city uh, within it and big rolling green hills snow peak mountains a running vibrant river look at that and the gas prices here surprisingly is the cheaper cheapest gas i've seen better than france switzerland Liechtenstein, luxembourg here it is only a dollar sixty or one euro and sixty cents and that that's a very good price so so far, the winner between France, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Andorra, Mon Monaco is Andorra. As I leave Andorra, that reminds me to tell you, if you would like to see my other videos on Europe, please click on the link now. Thank you so much for watching.